Hey yo, fourth grade, Mr. Remedies with today's writing lesson. Boom, still continuing our serious talk on video about our research project, our research process. Today, as you can see on the screen, we're moving on to step two. We're talking about gathering information. Uh, as always, we have some learning goals, success criteria. So let's scoot on over to those, see what those are now. Today, our goal is that we are learning how to gather information during the research project process. Sorry. And we have four success criteria today. Uh, like I can define source. I can list at least three types of sources. I can define reliable source. And I can determine if a source is reliable or not. Okay, if these are very important success criteria because these are kind of like the how to reach our goal. So now that we have those out of the way, let's look at some important definitions for today. We are concentrated on two uh, vocabulary words today. We're talking about source. Uh, when we gather information, we have to go get sources. And a source is anything that can give information. Okay? And in just a few moments, we'll be talking about the types of sources we can use. Uh, we also need to be aware of the word reliable. If something is reliable, it means it can be trusted. Um, so like I hope that my sources can be trusted during my research process, but uh, maybe I have a friend that can be reliable as well. I can trust him as well. So uh, source and reliable, muy, muy, muy important today for our lesson. So let's talk about the types of sources. Remember, a source is anything that we can get information from. And when we do research, we're trying to gain knowledge. So we got to go find that knowledge. So we need to talk about the types of sources. Now, put on your big thinking brains there out across Copper Cove today and think, where can I go to get some information? Okay, So I can go get from books, whether it be from my school library or my uh, city library or the books I have at my house, as long as they're nonfiction books. Uh, maybe newspapers, I can use encyclopedias, websites, magazines, and I can always talk to experts. Okay, An expert is someone who works in that field or has an um, incredible amount of knowledge on the subject that you're trying to research. Okay? You can always talk to them in person. All right, let's move on to really kind of diving more into our resources. Okay? Our reliable resources. Remember, we want our sources to be reliable because we want to be able to trust that the information inside them is factual and accurate. Okay? So, reliable resources are sources we can trust. Okay? Uh, examples include books in our school library. You know, all of our cool librarians across Coppers Cove, they do a great job of selecting the uh, the right materials for us that will be not only interesting with our fiction books, but accurate and uh, full of good, useful facts and information for our nonfiction text. Okay. Our local newspapers, as long as it's not something called an editorial or opinion piece, we can usually trust our, our local newspaper. Number three, any kind of reference material like encyclopedias, dictionaries, or the atlas. The atlas is the big book that has all the maps and things in it. We can usually trust those because they wouldn't have been published unless they were accurate. And, oh, I'm sorry, guys. And websites with, a lim with limited number of editors from trusted creators. And this will be very important, and this actually built what we spend some uh, a lot of time on today. Now, I know that uh, all of you guys across Copper's Cove, uh, you guys are online, so you may not have access to the school library or the city library. Um, so I know that you guys are going to scoot right on over to the internet. And so our question is, is the internet a reliable resource? And the answer is not black or white. It is a little gray there. Uh, so I'm going to go with it can be with good judgment. So on the screen, you've, uh, you have a little snapshot of uh, a Google search that I typed in for a famous person that I'm interested in learning a little bit more about, and her name is Wilma Rudolph. Now, I type in Wilma Rudolph to Google, and as you can see on the screen, what pops up, everybody knows what pops up, and that's Wikipedia is usually the first thing that pops up. But my question, is Wikipedia a reliable resource? 
Eh, 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 eh. The answer is no, it is not a reliable resource uh, because anyone can sign up to be a contributor or an editor and anyone can update the articles page on Wikipedia. Uh, so for school purposes, uh, Wikipedia is not a reliable resource because it has too many editors. Anyone can, can change the articles. So uh, we are going to be asking you to, uh, you know, kind of steer clear of Wikipedia. All right. Our second, our second one is the Internet a reliable resource. It still can be with good judgment. Uh, I went to a kid-friendly search engine called KidRex. I typed in Wilma Rudolph again, and this time a Texas Public Records uh, popped up as my top search uh, result. And if you see there in my circle there, it says ad. I got a little block with an ad. Websites with an ad tag, eh, 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 not reliable. That website paid money to have their listing at the top of the results so we're going to avoid those we're going to scroll down and look for some more uh, reliable resources all right let's look at our final one okay so i typed in i went back to google and i typed in wilma rudolph and after i scrolled down past wikipedia and some of the other questions people asked about rudolph i came across three websites, Britannica.com, ESPN.com, and Biography.com. And I thought to myself, well, Britannica is a company that builds encyclopedias. You may, see, you may remember them from your classrooms. ESPN is a network that's devoted all to sports and sports journalism. And Biography.com, well, we're studying about famous people. And so Biography.com, I believe I've been there before, and I think I believe I can trust them. Okay? Uh, there, these websites don't have ad on a tag, and they're not Wikipedia, so I think I can trust them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I would uh, click here, and then begin to uh, do some research and gather information there. All right, let's move on to a quick review. Uh, as a review, uh, in step two, we need to gather information from sources. Uh, a source is anything that gives us information. Uh, some really good uh, sources include books, encyclopedias, newspapers, magazines, and keyword here, trusted websites. Right? Uh, we should only use reliable resources because they can be trusted. Right? Uh, this is probably the most complicated and the part of the research process that takes the longest time, uh, but I know that you guys can do it. This is where we're really gathering all that knowledge. And just just gobbling up all that good knowledge and, and cool facts about your famous person for this research process and so we are really excited to really dive into this all right uh, i'm going to turn you guys loose to gather information so uh, stay tuned for your assignment and we will see you next time bye for now guys